Hello, everyone, and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. Church Milton has been saying for our 11 years of existence that the problem in the world is Protestantism and that too many Catholic leaders are little else than Protestants in Catholic robes who no longer believe the Catholic faith. That truism is more and more evident every passing day. We'll forgo the enormous list of examples in the areas of liturgy, morality, the sacraments, the obfuscation of teaching, and so forth, so we can get to the main point of this episode. If you are a Catholic parent, you need to understand the horrific reality that there is a diabolical culture out there waiting to eat your children alive and grind them to death. From entertainment to so-called education, this culture of the demonic is lusting and drooling after your children, not just for their bodies, but more importantly for their souls. It will set about to co-opt their wills by first dulling their intellects and then by inflaming their passions, by providing a never-ending never -ending spread to appeal to their appetites. Your single duty, parents, beyond the salvation of your own individual soul, over which you have complete control, is to lead your children safely to heaven. You have no more sacred duty than this, and it will be primarily on this single act that you will be judged by God and your eternal destiny will be decided. St. John Vianney, patron saint of parish priests, in a terrifying sermon once thundered, Parents, know that if your children go to hell, be sure that they will join you in the flames who will be already waiting for them. Parents have been given the sacred duty of bringing forth the future citizens of heaven. You have joined God in the act of creating a new person, an act so awesomely sacred and powerful that not even the highest of the angels has that power. In the beginning, when the Holy Trinity said amongst themselves, let us make man in our own image, Part of that image was the ability to create human persons destined to be absorbed into the trinity of divine persons for everlasting. But parents, you have an enemy, the demon, who hates your children, wants to see them destroyed, despises you for cooperating in their creation, and seeks their destruction. And he has fashioned a culture through the cooperation of his human offspring and disciples to achieve this single end. You must flee from this culture in every form it presents itself. This means protecting the innocence of your children. First of all, their intellectual innocence. We have intellects so that we can approach truth and eventually embrace it, for truth is a person, Jesus Christ. So the demon has manufactured a world where truth is not personal merely subjective and arbitrary. So you have the duty to keep your children away from those who do not love truth, do not love Christ, regardless of emotional or family ties. Allow your children to be exposed to Aunt Sally or Uncle Bob, who introduce the poison and confusion of anti-truth to them, and you will be held responsible. They must be bathed in Catholic truth and goodness and beauty from the very first moment they can sense the world around them. To not do this is to deprive them of supernatural realities. It would be better for you to starve their bodies to death than deprive them of spiritual sustenance. You have a duty to ensure that they are exposed to mass that is reverential and authentic, where actual belief in the real presence is abundantly evident, where their souls can be enriched, not their intellects getting contradictory signals from an army of Eucharistic ministers or Protestant preaching and music and liturgical abuses. You have the duty to protect their emotional purity, to teach them that God created them and loves them more than even mommy and daddy love them. Teach them that they are never alone. Talk to them about their angel and the saints. God needs to be the center of your family life with sacramentals in the house and beauty-filled Catholic artwork at every glance. Steep them in Catholicism and allow no one and nothing which does not embrace and love the faith anywhere near them. They are really God's children after all. You have been given custody of them, nothing more. Love them, of course, as your own, but know that they belong to our Heavenly Father. They are His precious possession. The only way you can truly love your, sim your children, simple, 
since they are first and foremost God's own dear possession, when you must love them as he loves them, which is in all holiness. Parents, you must be holy. You must be saints. You must strive every day to be saints, to be the streaky clean window which allows the glorious rays of the sun into the playrooms of your children. We are all bound up in this holiness. God is the source. You parents are the extension of God by bringing them into existence through a holy act and you must live on in his holiness and love. God has given them to you and you must give them back to him and in that you will be with them forever. Every act, every moment, love them in holiness as God loves them. Protect them from evil in all its devious and cunning forms. Always be on the lookout, ever vigilant, as St. Peter warns us. The devil is roaming about like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Seek refuge under the mantle of our Blessed Mother. Hide in the sacred heart of our Jesus, and you and your family will behold the vision we were all created for forever. God love you. I'm Michael Voris.